Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be talking about important current affairs of 25th of january the session will be very interesting so do pay attention till the end as usual friends we'll go for the revision part and then after that we'll go for the important current affairs of the day to all those students do make notes making notes is a very good habit let's start First, we are talking about a scheme that is water conservation scheme. This water conservation scheme was launched by which state? This water conservation scheme was launched by Jharkhand. And remember, in Jharkhand, there is a folk dance by the name Jhumar. If asked about Ghumar, this Ghumar dance is of Rajasthan. But if asked about Jhumar, consider it from J&J, Jhumar is of Jharkhand. So recently water conservation scheme with an outlay of 467 crore rupees was launched by Jharkhand Agriculture Minister Badal Patralekji. Next, next is Prakram Divas. Prakram Divas is observed on 23rd of January. This day is observed in the memory of Subhash Chandra Bose's birthday. He was famously known as by the term Netaji. In year 2023, this is the 126th birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose and remember from the year 2021 onwards every year we started this, uh, observing 23rd of January as your Prakram Divas. Next next is your MFEX exercise. MFEX exercise was conducted by recently Indian Navy and in this MFX exercise, all the three forces of India, Indian Navy, Indian Air Force and Indian Army took part in this particular MFX exercise. What is the location where this exercise was held? Andhra Pradesh. This was a six day long exercise that was held in Andhra Pradesh. Next, recently Ladakh's Lieutenant Governor RK Mathur has launched a 14 digit UL pin number in Ladakh. This 14 digit UL pin number is basically a number or a unique land parcel identification number. That means if there are land in order like this, these are land. So the individual land will be provided with a UL pin number that signifies an authority or that signifies the owner of that particular land. Next, 
ICGS Shaurya and ICGS Rajveer. They are the two Indian Coast Guard ships that were on a six-day visit to Bangladesh as there was an MOU signed between Indian Coast Guard and Bangladesh Coast Guard and they signed this MOU in order to enhance the cooperation between the two and in order to increase the security between these two areas. Next, next is your Jaipur Literature Festival. This Jaipur Literature Festival for the year 2023, it was the 16th edition of this festival that began in Jaipur, Rajasthan. Next, next is Cyclone 1, important Cyclone 1. As it is the first edition, we can say this is the inaugural session of this exercise, Cyclone 1. This exercise is held between India and Egypt. This is the first edition of this exercise. And where was this exercise held? This exercise was held in Rajasthan. Next, then remember the three names, three women who were in the Forbes List of 100 most powerful women in the world. They are Nirmala Sitaram, the uh, uh, Finance Minister of India, Naika's founder, Falguni Nayar, and Sebi Chairperson, Madhavi Puri Bak. These are the three um, women that you need to remember that are important. Apart from them, Kiran Majumdar, Roshni Nadan Malhotra, and Madhavi Puri Bak. Moving on. So friends, these are the revision part and now let's move to the today's current affairs. First, first we are talking about mangrove cultivation. First of all, tell me in what areas do we found mangrove plantation? Mangroves are basically found in Sundarban Delta. Alright, so mangrove cultivation has different from different agriculture will attract 18% GST as per AAA report. I repeat, mangrove cultivation different from agriculture, it will attract almost 18% as per AAR, AAA report. What is AAA? AAA is your appellate authority for advanced ruling. The cultivation of mangroves is different from agriculture and it will not be exempted from goods and service tax and it will attract 8% GST direct question that mangrove cultivation will be attracting how much percent GST it will be your 18 percent and this rule or this particular data has been released by whom or this rule has been released by whom it was by AAA or that is appellate authority for advanced ruling all right the applicant who is engaged in developing mangrove seeds into seedlings in nurseries with an objective of environmental protection against cyclones and tidal waves, had sought a ruling from the West Bengal AAR that activities be exempted from GST. However, as per AAAR, the activities by the applicant will be classified as support services to agriculture, forestry, fishing and animal husbandry. And only if it is related to the cultivation of plants and rearing of life forms of animals except of those of horses for food, fiber, fuel, raw material, other similar products, GST will be applicable on the same. So 18% GST will be applied for the mangrove cultivation. Next, next is Government of India has introduced you win to digitize India's universal immunization program. I repeat, Government of India has launched you win and this is a platform that will digitize the india's universal immunization program that was a pilot mode in two district and each uh, two districts from each state and union territory then this initiative of government this will move is due to the effectiveness of the coven platform and it is for replicating and ensuring the digital registration routine for vaccines UVIN platform is similar to that of COVID only that was introduced on 2021 in January and that was basically the digital backbone for India's COVID-19 immunization program COVID. On COVID what you used to do was you used to go there and you used to even register for your vaccination drive and even the certificate that was necessary that was even checked by various organization or at various entry points have been uploaded there and you can just download it from there 
वेबसाइट सिमिलरली दिस इज योर यू वेन ऑल राइट एंड दिस यू आई पी दैट इज योर यूनिवर्सल इम्यूनाइजेशन प्रोग्राम वॉज फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एट इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लार्ज स्केल इम्यूनाइजेशन ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट Next is your Ayush Ministry. They have signed a memorandum of understanding with ITDC to promote medical value travel in India. I repeat, recently, which ministry has signed a MOU with ITDC? What is ITDC? ITDC is your India Tourism Development Corporation. So remember, it was Ayush Ministry or your Ministry of Ayush that has recently signed a MOU with ITDC for the travel. and promotion of medical value travel in india all right if we talk about this implementation process the implementation and the progress of this mou will be monitored by a joint working group committee that will be co-chaired by the representatives both from itdc and ministry of ayush if we talk about this mou under this mou the ministry of ayush will train itdc officials on the ayurveda and other traditional medicine systems and the ministry will also identify the tourist circuits that will immense scope to promote this ayurveda and other traditional systems of medicine and it will provide a itdc basically we can say that with this medicine value travel in india program in order to this is a marketing strategy in simple terms that will promote the ayush products and what are these ayush basically ayurveda all right yoga yunani siddha all right homeopathy naturopathy in order to basically promote these all around india this was launched also itdc on the suggestion of ayush will include historical heritage sites of indian systems of medicine in tourist destinations under knowledge tourism and may celebrate and may also create films and literature that tourists will find useful apart from this remember g20 delegates has discussed opportunities and challenges in order to promote the mvt and mvt is your medical value travel all right and we know india is having the presidency of it so there won't be an issue so the g20 delegates are discussing the opportunities and challenges in order to promote the medical value travel in india at the first health working group meeting under the g20 presidency that will be on or that has held on 18th of january in 2023 in trivandrum kerala all right next next is ministry of youth affairs and sports has formed oversight committee headed by mc maricom to enquire allegations against the wfi that is your wrestling federation of india recently we know that there is a protest going on against the president of wrestling federation of india because of the sexual assault that he has made and even many data has been released and even an fir was uh, an rti was filed and it stated that in the last few years multiple cases of such or uh, reports has also been filed against the women so recently remember ministry of youth affairs and sports has formed an oversight committee that will be headed by whom this will, that will be headed by mc maricom a chairperson of the athletes commission of the indian olympic association and this committee will enquire into all the allegations of the sexual misconduct harassment and financial irregularities in the wrestling federation of india all right next next is your india among top 3 nations in expanding organic farming in 2020 as per argentina i repeat recently according to bond germany headquartered ifo am organics international data let me show you here according to bond germany's headquartered ifo am organics international data they stated this organization stated that india is the ranked third globally under the area under organic agriculture expanded the maximum in 2020 all right that means according to the data released in 2020 india has the third largest 
organic agriculture and here the land under this organic agriculture has expanded to 359000 hectares that is almost 16% of the land this list is topped by argentina with 781000 hectares up by 21 and followed by uruguay by 589000 hectares of land the total increase under organic cultivation globally in 2022 or in 2020 was almost 3 million hectares ifoam this is an acronym that stands for international federation of organic agriculture movements all right next next eif that is your agriculture infrastructure fund has raised more than 30000 crore rupees in capital for agriculture infrastructure projects with a sanctioned amount of 15000 crore rupees if we talk about this agriculture infrastructure fund aif is a financing facility that was introduced in 8th of july in 2020 and this is for the creation of post harvest infrastructure and community from assets across india it was a central sector scheme that was launched by the department of agriculture and farmers welfare also this scheme will disburse around 1 lakh crore rupees by the end of the fiscal year 25 while interest subvention and credit guarantee supports will be provided until fiscal year 2032 all right also under the credit guarantee fund trust for micro and small enterprise scheme eligible borrowers for the financing facility would have to access to credit guarantee coverage of up to 2 lakh or uh, 2 crore rupees loan there will be a 3% annual interest subsidy on all the loans made through this financing facility up to a maximum of 2 crore rupees this subvention will be available for a maximum period of 7 years and it allows for convention it allows for convergence with all schemes of the union or state government basically infrastructure projects help farmers better price for their produce also it helps them to get modernized agriculture technology equipments and practices and it also reduces the post harvest losses all right that means better infrastructure for example you can consider it like this if you are having a better product say if you are using iphone 14 and if you are using iphone 6s there is a difference between the two difference between the specification that are provided to you so similarly if a farmer is getting better infrastructure better technologies better equipment definitely his or her uh, growth will be more and he will be uh, inducing less post harvest losses all right next next is your au small finance bank limited that is india's largest small finance bank has launched first of its kind swipe up platform that will allow other bank credit card holders to get upgraded eu credit cards i repeat recently au small finance bank they have launched a credit card offering platform that is swipe up and this swipe up platform will allow other bank credit card holders to get upgraded to the au credit card this facility will provide credit card users is similar to that of a mobile phone number portability which allow the chain service providers while retaining the same number on their card but the company will change for example if you own Airtel and you want to shift to Jio, then your number will be same, but the operator will change. Similarly, what this a uh, bank AU Small Bank AU Small Finance Bank is providing that if you have a credit card, say for example of Punjab National Bank, and you want to shift to a uh, AU Small Finance Bank, then your number will be same same of the card, and it will be shifted to your Small Finance Bank. also an interesting thing about this particular credit card that these plastic these credit cards are not made from plastic they are actually made from a biodegradable plastic that is intended to keep a healthy environment and they are working towards the sustainable development goals next 
if we talk about before moving ahead if we talk about au small finance bank who is the managing director and chief executive officer of au small finance bank sanjay agarwal where is the headquarter it is in jaipur rajasthan all right next next is your asian development bank and nava sheva freepo terminal private limited they have together signed an agreement worth 131 million dollar loan to support the gln that is jawahar lal nehru port upgradation and enhancement of the international trade i repeat recently asian development bank and your nava sheva free terminal free port terminal private limited they have signed an agreement worth 131 million dollar this is a loan that will be provided to upgrade the jawahar lal nehru port that is in navi mumbai maharashtra and this is to basically enhance the international trade in india through efficient transport and state of the art logistic infrastructure this loan that will be comprising of 131 million dollar loan among this 61.4 million dollar will be from asia asian development bank and 69.6 million dollar loan will be from asia's private infrastructure fund that is also administered by asian development bank only all right apart from this remember nava sheva free port terminal it is a key terminal for india and it deals with the asian development bank will increase india's potential in becoming a 10 trillion dollar economy by the year 2035 all right apart from this if i ask you who is the president of asian development bank masasugu asakawa and where is the headquarter it is in manila philippines and 68 members are there in asian development bank next is your hdfc bank hdfc that is your housing development finance corporation plans to raise at least 30 billion dollar rupees that is around 370.5 million dollar rupees a million dollar through the sale of bonds all right i repeat hdfc is planning to raise at least 30 billion rupees through the issuance of 10 year bonds this 30 billion rupees is around 370.5 million dollar these amount this particular amount of money will be raised through the sale of bonds that will mature in a period of 10 years the company has invested bankers and investors to bid for coupons and commitments the issue of these bonds will also have a green shoe option to retain an additional of rupees 20 billion and will close for subscription later this week the bonds are rated triple a by crisel and will have a put option at the end of the third year next tata motors tata motors up in if we are talking about here only first of all Sovereign green bonds were also launched by RBI, and they were in the tranches of eight thousand crore rupees each. There will be two tranches, so the total comes out to be sixteen thousand crore rupees of sovereign green bonds were launched by RBI. Next, Tata Motors and ICICI Bank has they have tied up to offer financing solutions to its electric vehicle dealers. I repeat, Tata Motors has tied up with ICICI Bank in order to. offer various insurances to the electric vehicle dealers under this the bank will provide inventory funding to the authorized passenger ev dealers in addition to the bank's funding to dealers for diesel and petrol mode so apart from petrol and diesel now electric vehicles will also be provided with various financing solutions this partnership will envisage making electric vehicle and their purchase more accessible and seamless and electric vehicle dealers can also avail flexible repayment tenures next next we are talking about oppo india and ministry of electronics information and technology csc partner to train almost 10000 women in cyber security through the cyber shangini i repeat oppo india that is a mobile phone brand it has partnered with common service center academy that is the education corporate social responsibility wing of the common service centers under ministry of electronics and information and technology 
all right so directly we can say it was oppo that is signed a agreement with or that is partnered with ministry of electronics information and technology and this is for cyber shangini platform that is a 45 day course to empower rural and semi urban women by training them in the fundamentals of cyber security and cyber wellness the initiative aim to equip women with the skills and knowledge needed to become certified cyber shangini and act as cyber security ambassadors in their area all right basically here training skills will be provided to these 10000 women in the field of cyber security various languages and various other ways that how can they tackle any cyber fraud or any cyber attack that is going on a particular organization how to train them against them all the information and skills will be provided here this uh, here the participants will receive a certification from the national institute of electronics and information and technology or cdac upon completing their course and also this will help them to get better employment opportunities in various other organizations too moving on next is your ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship they have partnered with bharat dynamics to promote apprenticeship training framework i repeat recently ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship they partnered with bharat dynamics limited and this was to create various apprenticeship training framework to address the need for the skilled and future ready workforce in the central public sector undertaking and industries here more than 250 apprentices have been employed under the collaboration at the bdl facility in hyderabad telangana where the astra missile the state of the art air missile is being manufactured three of the five components of the missiles are manufactured at this facility only and why this is important because see one thing that it is related to ministry of defense it is related with missile and everything so there can be a less to zero to no error in such works all right when we are dealing with such explosive then the training of those employees who are working in that particular project should be done beforehand and in order to train those people beforehand only this particular apprenticeship training framework was launched by ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship along with bharat dynamics limited so people can be trained in advance and when required they can be given the opportunity to work next we talk about awards and recognitions president draupadi murmu has conferred pradhan mantri rashtriya bal puraskar for the year 2022 all right also remember here pradhan mantri rashtriya bal puraskar for 2023 was awarded to 11 children for their exceptional achievement at vigyan bhavan in new delhi these awards were presented to these 11 children the awardees are from 11 states and union territories including these 11 children here are six boys and five girls each awardee will receive a certification and a cash prize of 1 lakh rupees and a medal also remember during this ceremony Smriti Irani also released a book that was titled Young Heroes of India and this is the first and the first copy of this book that is Young Heroes of India was presented to the president of India Draupadi Murmu Next next is government of India has announced the winners of the Subhash Chandra Bose Aapda Prabandhan Puraskar for 2020 3 i repeat on the occasion of the birth anniversary of netaji subhash chandra bose that is on 23rd of january that is also observed as prakram divas and its first edition was observed in 2021 so remember on his birth anniversary government of india has selected odisha state disaster management authority and lungli fire station of mizoram for subhash chandra bose aap the prabandhan puraskar for 2023 important i repeat government of india has chosen odisha state disaster management authority and lungley fire station of mizoram 
एज फॉर द सुभाष चंद्र बोस आपदा प्रबंधन पुरस्कार फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी एंड दिस इज बेसिकली फॉर देयर एक्सेप्शनल वर्क इन डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट देन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट दिस सुभाष चंद्र बोस आपदा प्रबंधन पुरस्कार दिस वॉज इनिशिएटेड बाई नेशनल डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट अथॉरिटी दैट कम्स अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन सो दिस अवार्ड वॉज लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन टू रिकॉगनाइज एंड बेसिकली ऑनर ऑल दोज पीपल्स हु हैड देयर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड सेल्फलेस सर्विस बाय इंडिविजुअल्स एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन द फील्ड ऑफ डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट दिस इंक्लूड्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन द एरिया ऑफ डिजास्टर प्रिवेंशन मिटिगेशन प्रिपेयरनेस रेस्क्यू रिस्पॉन्स रिलीफ रिहेबिलिटेशन रिसर्च इनोवेशन और अर्ली वार्निंग्स नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज योर जस्टिस सबीना हैज अपॉइंटेड एज द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश हाई कोर्ट आई रिपीट जस्टिस सबीना द सीनियर मोस्ट जज ऑफ द हिमाचल प्रदेश हाई कोर्ट वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज एक्टिंग चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश हाई कोर्ट इन द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ द पावर कन्फर्ड बाय द आर्टिकल टू टू थ्री और राइट हर टर्म विल बी स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री द रिटायरमेंट ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश हाई कोर्ट चीफ जस्टिस अजमत अश्ताम शैयद इफ वी टॉक अबाउट हर जस्टिस सबीना इन 1986 शी वाज यूनानिमसली सिलेक्टेड एज द जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी ऑफ बार एसोसिएशन ऑफ पंजाब एंड हरियाणा हाई कोर्ट शी वाज अपॉइंटेड एज एन एडिशनल डिस्ट्रिक्ट जज इन 1997 शी वाज अपॉइंटेड एज अ सेशन जज इन सेप्टेंबर टू and promoted to additional judge of punjab and haryana high court in 2008 and then permanent judge in 2010 moving on to science and technology now drdo and naval group france has signed an agreement to safely integrate indigenous systems in kalavari class submarines drdo and naval group france they have signed an agreement that they would improve the endurance of indian navy scorpion class conventional submarines according to this agreement ins kalwari class will soon be equipped with fuel cell based air independent propulsion system of naval material research laboratory also this nmrl that is your national material research laboratory this is an indian defense laboratory of DRDO Also with this agreement cooperation will be enhanced to include decision process for integrating indigenous AIP into Kalavari class submarine also Kalavari class submarines have been built by Mazgaon Dock Shipbuilders Limited in Mumbai Maharashtra Next next is your National Girl Child Day when do we observe this National Girl Child Day it is observed on 24th of january this day is observed to create awareness about inequalities that girls face in indian society the day also promotes awareness about the rights of the girl child all right this day was established in the year 2008 by the ministry of women and child development or we can say the first ever national girl child day was observed on 24th of january in 2000 8 next next is international day of education this day is also observed on 24th of january and this day is important international day of education annually observed across the globe on 24th of january to celebrate the role of education in peace and development in the year 2023 this was the fifth edition of this international day of education then the theme for the same that you need to remember is to invest in people prioritize education i repeat to invest in people prioritize education moving on friends these were your important current affairs of the day now it's time for a quick revision mangrove cultivation different from agriculture and it will also attract 18% gst government of india has introduced uwin to digitize india's universal immunization program and it will be similar to that of covin ayush ministry signed mou with itdc to promote 
मेडिकल वैल्यू ट्रैवल इन इंडिया मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स फॉर्म्ड ओवरसाइट कमेटी हेडेड बाय एम सी मैरी कॉम टू एंक्वायर ऑल द एलिगेशन अगेंस्ट द रेसलिंग फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड दिस इज ऑन गोइंग द प्रोटेस्ट बाय द वेरियस रेसलर्स अगेंस्ट देयर प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ सेक्शुअल हरेसमेंट इंडिया इज अमंग द टॉप थ्री नेशन इन एक्सपेंडिंग ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड अर्जेंटीना हैज सिक्योर द टॉप पोजिशन हेयर आर बी आई एक्सटेंडेड द डेड लाइन टू कम्प्लीट रिन्यूएबल एग्रीमेंट्स फॉर एग्जिस्टिंग सेफ डिपॉजिट लॉगर्स बाय थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ दिसंबर ट्वेंटी थर्टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ई आई एफ इन कैपिटल रेज फॉर एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर projects eu small finance bank they have launched a credit card that will offer platform that is swipe up that you can change even your if you are from punjab national bank and you want eu small finance bank to be your credit card then you can just change it similar to that your when you change your mobile numbers or company of mobile numbers then asian development bank and nsf tpl has signed a loan of 131 million dollar to support the jln port upgradation and enhance the internal trade there hdfc has raised at least 30 billion rupees through the issuance of 10 year bonds tata motors icici bank to tie up offer financing solutions to ev dealers oppo india and ministry of electronics information and technology csc partner to train 10000 women in cyber security msds partnered with bharat dynamics to promote apprenticeship training framework President Draupadi Murmu has conferred Pradhan Mantri Rashtriya Bal Puraskar for 2023. Government of India has announced winners of Subhash Chandra Bose Aapda Prabandhan Puraskar for 2023. Justice Sabina has been appointed as the Acting Chief Justice of Himachal Pradesh High Court. DRDO and Naval Group France signed agreement for safely integrate or to safely integrate indigenous systems in Kalavari class submarine. National Girl Child Day on 24th of January and International Day of Education on 24th of January. Now friends it's time for your homework. First, Indian Army launched a joint training exercise Cyclone 1 with which country? Second, Bhopal declaration which was seen in the news was launched after which meeting? NASA awarded 425 million dollars to which company for the agency's sustainable flight demonstrator project? India is set to start supplying diesel to which country through a friendship pipeline fifth which is the first country to back the debt restructure program of sri lanka all right so friends these are your five homework questions i hope you have understood the assignment all you have to do is like the video and comment below what are your views on such session do you want us to continue with such session then let us know in the comment section apart from this friends you can watch all our videos by just searching current affairs by vikas rana on youtube and you will be able to find all our videos on affairs cloud youtube channel and friends remember if you want to attempt quiz and if you want notes pdf then you can go to careers cloud mobile application as well as it is a website where you can log in and you can see various courses that are being offered by us and the language here will be both in hindi as well as english so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue